Hi Virgo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, this is intended for um, somebody you have a connection with. It has to be an actual connection of some kind. You don't have to be committed or anything like that. But as long as you both know that there is some sort of connection between the two of you and they definitely know who you are, then we'll see if your energy is here. If you like somebody or whatever and they have no clue who you are, then you may want to watch the singles reading I do every month and maybe um, that energy will be picked up um, there. So this has to be an actual connection. So we're going to see here uh, what's going on for you, Virgo, in the month of... And this is intended for whenever you see this. This will be out before Christmas. So it, it is dated January, but I consider all the readings on my time, on my channel timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch previous uh, readings, playlists are down below in the description box. So you can check that out if you'd like to. So let's see. This is a um, Zodiac Oracle. So we're going to get a sign, element, or planet, whatever comes out here. We'll see if this resonates for you. If it doesn't, that's totally fine. So we have Venus, which is Libra and Taurus, I believe. So that is the planet of love. So definitely a love situation here. Feelings, emotions, and love. Some sort of connection here where there's love. And it could be Libra or Taurus. If not, totally fine. Or maybe they have it somewhere in their chart. All right. So well, welcome to uh, Virgo. And um, since this is out before Christmas, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and Happy New Year. And let's see what we have for you. So the first thing I'm going to do here is pull an overall energy between you and your person. Between Virgo spirit, please, and who they're thinking about at this time. Pulling that one. What is the love energy like between you? So we have strengthening bonds. So this is the, I believe it's the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a stable uh, brand new beginning here for the long term. So that's a good energy, Ace of Pentacles, Strength. And so this could be a relationship or a connection that's starting to gain momentum, that's starting to get a little more serious, really considering, you know, committing for the long term, seeing where it goes, like getting ready to walk down that um, path there. And I'm just getting maybe some of you are getting married because it just looks like an archway and like walking down... Um, like the aisle kind of energy. So maybe some of you are getting ready to propose or maybe getting proposed to or maybe a planning a wedding or getting married. Wow. So I do see see the light shining there. So hmm, I don't know, we'll see what's going on here. So the next thing I'm going to do, Virgo, is I'm going to pull a card for you, a card for your person, how you're feeling about the connection and each other. So I'm going to put you here, Virgo, your person there. And if at any time during the reading you feel the energies are switched, you can make, you can do that any point, any time during this reading. So only take what resonates and, you know, all that good stuff. Everybody knows that. Take what resonates, throw away what doesn't, flip-flop, switch the energies anytime you see fit. All right. So let's get... Couple energies here. All the decks are listed below if you're interested. The decks I'm using, tons of information down in the description box. If you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram, tons of stuff down there. So please feel free to check that out. So let's see what your energy is, Virgo. Well, we got move. So we got the chariot energy here. So you feel like things are moving forward. So moving forward, and I do see like two hands coming together here. Some of you definitely could be maybe even getting married and like even moving at the same time or something like that or just maybe going on a very long honeymoon vacation or something like that wow okay and then you get the four swords energy so this is kind of like an energy of needing to like take a break uh retreat that is the energy of retreating so maybe it's been a you know you know planning a wedding or anything like that is a lot of work it's tiring and this just breathe retreat is always, and I always think of retreat as going on a honeymoon or getting away together. So maybe, you know, you've been doing all the planning, all the work, or, you know, you could be do both doing it together. And now it's like, you just can't wait to get away, get on this honeymoon, to take a break, take a breather, you know, it's all done. It's over, you know, and we could just relax now kind of energy. 
this may not be for everybody so please keep that in mind if it's not actually a wedding it could be so something else where you, you both need you know time to get away uh, if you've both been very busy in some way shape form work whatever it's like we just need to get away so we can strengthen our bonds spend some quality time together reconnect and uh Get that quality time together it's either that or even though this bond is strengthening you want it to move forward very very quickly and they want it to go just a little bit slower you know a little bit, bit of a slower pace because the four of swords is about like going off on your own and retreating and kind of energy so it could be but you know i do kind of see like almost like two people there so um it could be that they just want to slow the pace down and maybe you want it just to progress a little little further but i do see strength and demands there so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have take the lead so this is the three of wands energy so the three of wands is about you know patiently waiting and you know it's not the right time yet you know it's almost there you're almost ready but yet it's not quite the right time so you got to kind of wait patiently wait for the right time to take the lead to jump in so I don't know, we'll see where this is going. So maybe, you know, you, you, you know, been planning and planning and you want to like commit or move in together or go on vacation. And it's just always not the right time, not the right time, not the right time or planning a wedding. And it's just like, oh, we got to reschedule it again. It's not the right time kind of energy. So I, I don't know, we'll see where this is going. A lot of different messages. So like I said, not for everybody. But, you know, the three there on Take the Lead, you know, that's threes are all about uh, teamwork, collaboration, people working together. So, and we got seven for you with the chariot, which is a very spiritual, divinely guided number. They have four. Fours are about stability in the basis of the foundation. And with the one there is that brand new beginning. So, it's all good energy. So, let's see where this is going. Where is this going for Virgo? Why does the uh, Virgo have the chariot here? Okay. So we have the six of wands. So this is success, victory, fire energy here. So the chariot is kind of like the same energy. It's like moving forward with balance, uh, ambition, drive, passion um, to success and victory. And this is success and victory. So very uh, positive energy here that you're in, in this connection about things moving forward and being successful, victorious, passionate, balanced. Let's see, why do they have just breathe here? Your person for Virgo, please. The Emperor. So, you know, this is an energy of taking, uh, taking the lead and we have take the lead here. So, you know, this is, you know, taking control, taking lead, taking charge. Somebody who's, you know, the boss or ruler in control, but then they have just breathe. So it's kind of like opposing energies, like wanting to step up, take the lead, but yet it's not, it's just like not the right time. So you got to step back and take a breather, you know, wanting to step up, take the lead, but it's not the right time. You got to step back and take a breather. So it could be, I'm not getting an energy like, um, they're stepping back from you. I'm getting an energy, like whatever you're planning together it always like falls back because something else interferes and it's just not the right time. So we got to wait a little bit longer and, um, you know, for the right time, whatever that may be. So if it's got something to do with family issues, you know, career or, you know, finances or whatever here, I feel like something is always interfering with you progressing forward in some manner, which causes like a regression you got to step back oh now we gotta wait we gotta wait again <laughs> so let's see what the actual well let's clarify these two let's just clarify the six of wands for knight of pentacles so yeah things are moving slowly but it's stable secure it's grounded uh making making smart practical plans for the future you know i do feel like you know the chariot like you want it to go and progress faster but this is a very slow paced energy with the night. So, you know, things are moving very slowly. You just want to go faster, but I think, feel like something's always interfering or preventing from your plans from happening. And 
It's just always like not the right time. So let's see um, why they have the Emperor here for you. The Two of Cups. Yeah, coming into Soulmate Union. Two of Cups energy. Definitely here. Wow. So you've got the same energy. So I definitely feel like here it's like either if you're planning a wedding or something, it's like, oh, we have to postpone again. Oh, we have to postpone again. Or moving in together. Oh, we can't yet. We can't yet. It's not the right time. Or something here. Or planning a vacation and you're like... It's like, oh, we can't, something came up, we got to postpone, you know, family illness, family emergency, work, whatever here. It's like something is always interfering with your plans. You could be, you could be married to this person, you could be dating, you could be just committed, whatever your um, situation here. So let's get the actual situation for you here. Uh, so we got the page of swords. So that is about, you know. Communication, open, honest communication. Uh, sometimes an energy like watching somebody online or learning something online or um, taking that sword to cut, telling, you know, maybe now you're just standing up to situations and saying, look, you know what? <laughs> I've got this big sword here and I'm tired of all this energy, whatever it is for you, interfering in our plans and, um, we have to keep postponing and waiting, postponing and now speaking up and like, I'm tired of it. I'm done. No more, no more <laughs> kind of energy. Okay, that's too many. So let's get a couple more to clarify your actual situation. The two of swords. Yeah. Being a little indecisive here, not quite sure what to do. It's like, so you could be indecisive, you know, do I just pick up the sword? Tell people to, you know, that's it. I'm done. No more. I'm tired of all this interference that keeps postponing our plans or whatever we're doing here. But you may be a little indecisive. You know, should I, should I do it? How do I do it? You know, is it the right thing to do? It's like it's never the right time. Whatever you're planning here, you know. Ace of Cups. So brand new beginning in love. So, I mean, this could be. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. So this definitely could be a new relationship or it's like renewing, like you need to get away because you need to renew your, maybe you're renewing your vows. Maybe you're, um, it's like, or you just can't be together yet because it's not the right time. So whatever that means for you, um, I just feel like something here is not coming together because there's interference or it's not the right time. Whether it's actually coming together in soulmate union or you're in union and you're trying to plan a vacation, you're trying to plan to move in together or you're trying to plan a marriage or something here that something keeps interfering from this from happening so whatever your situation is so let's see let's clarify but I do see a lot of love and stability here between the two of you soulmates there with the two of cups yeah the ace of swords so yeah finally <laughs> finally i feel like finally gonna speak up tell the truth tell it like it is stand up for yourself the connection your person in whichever way that means for you cutting away energies and things no longer serving and just having that big realization and epiphany and that's a sort of success and victory the chariot success and victory so, so you've got the sword there you got the sword there so i mean that could be you ready to take up that sword it's like you're full of this fiery fierceness and it's like you know what i've had enough <laughs> whatever that means for you and on their side, yeah, the Eight of Wands, it's fiery, passionate communication, travel. It's all about travel, movement, communication. So, I mean, could be, you know, in the chariots about travel. So it's, it could be like you're trying to plan a vacation together, like a well-deserved, needed vacation to reconnect, you know, this love, this stability. I do see the love and everything between you, but I just feel like this some reason a lot of outside interference um in this so let's see what your advice is virgo the five of pentacles so that's that energy of feeling abandoned cold left out in the cold uh neglect abandonment so let's see i feel like i'm finally going to take this sword and tell people you know what <laughs> i'm leaving you out in the cold it's like 
gonna tell them like find somebody else to do whatever you you know were doing for them or what however they were um i don't know not using you but you know it's like you know, i gotta find somebody else you know i'm done so let's see another one here queen of cups so you know and that's that deep love emotions feelings um caring nurturing giving so maybe you know you are a very caring nurturing giving person uh very loving and you know you give 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 to everybody else and i feel like your your relationship here is lacking because of that but now it's a cut out time to cut out that energy so that you and your person can actually be a couple and not have this all this outer interference here all right, so let's get a couple more to clarify your advice for Virgo. Page of Pentacles. So there's an offer coming in. Um, it's stable, secure, grounded news offer or something like that. So uh, let's see. Let's get another one. The Fool. So this is like taking a leap of faith, resetting, restarting everything at zero. Now we can reset, restart at zero. Start all over, take the leap of faith together. You know, no more interference. It could be that, you know, you find somebody else to kind of help in situations here. To kind of ask other people, hey, can you help out so that, you know, we can, you know, actually go on vacation or do this or do that, you know. So this could be, you know, actually reaching out to other people, you know, kind of slowly like you know you know this is the situation can you help out you know or somebody could be stepping in to help out or this person is finally stepping in here and um proposing or they have proposed but i feel like um i feel like this is just a couple that has a lot of interference and they just can't seem to plan whatever it is they're planning here or it's a couple that can't quite come together yet because there's just other issues and interferences for some reason however that resonates for you but somebody wants to make an offer here with the page of pentacles uh, there is love emotion soulmate wanting to take this leap of faith all right so two of pentacles is your outcome so that's kind of juggling things around Kind of energy try and find balance so let's get a couple for that why is that here queen of wands so is that fiery passionate go-getter kind of energy um a lot of strength bravery you know they're not afraid to go after what they want so and the hang man so this is kind of taking a pause a break <laughs> and kind of hanging back and not really taking action gaining perspective so it's like you got two opposing energies here of being that fiery go-getter and then pausing taking a break and not taking action and then the two of pentacles about juggling and balancing that trying to balance that energy out so i i feel like you're still going to be trying to balance this out so that this can happen whatever it is for you whatever your situation is still trying to gain that balance of things being on a break but yet not a break but things being on pause but yet still wanting things to move forward and whatever whatever it is for you so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have seven of cups so yeah confusion here options choices so yeah still confused as you know what's going on here but then three of cups so it's about reuniting come to get coming together rejoicing having a good time three of swords so that's you know about heartbreak and pain the six of swords so yeah i feel like six of swords about going in a better direction a very healing balanced uh harmonious direction king of wands so now we got the king and queen of wands it definitely is a soulmate energy here so in the ten of cups so happy home and family enjoy fulfillment in every single way very strong bond here and we do have strengthening bonds and now we have strength here with a very strong bond and there's a chariot again which was your energy to begin with about moving forward victoriously very very strong bond king and queen of wands soulmate energy moving together you know in a better place total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way 
feeling a little heartbroken right now and hurt because things aren't progressing the way you would like to. You like things to be in a more happy, joyous state. Instead, it's still kind of like in a confusing kind of energy right now. Um, not seeing clearly like what, what to do here so this can progress further. Like I said, whatever your situation is for you. So oh, I do see things, you know, trying to progress, things trying to happen. But I just feel like there's a lot of other issues, interference that keeps um, interfering here, pre preventing either this union or preventing um, like a marriage or preventing something here, whatever, you know, whatever your situation is here. But I feel like if somebody finally stands up, takes that sword, cuts out energies no longer serving, stands out for themselves, tells it like it is, say, I can no longer do this, do that, you know, no more interfering, you know, this is how it is, whatever. I see things will move along, but somebody needs to be, take control, take the lead and be in that energy. Okay, so Virgo, let's, I do ask Virgo, if you do like how I read, we're going to get a couple extra messages here that you please do <clears throat> Like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. Subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do um, all kind of readings every month. So if you do, thank you. All right. So what do we have here? We have alignment. Yeah. And there's that big sword of truth as we have the sword over here. So things need to come in alignment between you and your person. One and four is five is about change. Things need to change. Something in this dynamic needs to change. So things can align properly. So things can move forward the way you both want them to. It's strongly what I'm getting here. Meditation. So this is eight. And this is about taking action. You know, eight's about action, communication, travel. But we have meditation. So, you know, really thinking about what you need to do. Either you or them are together thinking, okay, what can we do? What do we need to do so we can do this? We can move this forward. You know, whatever you're doing here. Really needing to think about that. And then we have inward revolution, which is 42, which is six. And six is a very healing, balancing number. So I think, you know, you're going to have that inward revolution, realization, epiphany of exactly, you know, through meditation and really thinking about, and if it's not meditation, just really, you know, thinking deeply introspective about what you really need to do so that, um, Things can progress for you in whichever way that is. And just having like that inner revolution realization. Okay, we know what we need to do here. We know what we're doing. And this is what we're going to do. So that inward revolution and then having that outward revolution and everything will just progress forward for you, um, Virgo. But somebody's going to take the lead, take charge, control, and use that sword. So... Oh boy, Virgo. So that's what I have for you for um, January or whenever you see this. So best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.